A new restaurant on Bainbridge Island is serving up a unique brunch menu, pulling inspiration from Southeast Asian flavors with a good mix of French technique. Here to show us their recipe for taro bubble egg waffles is Trin Nguyen from Basa. It's so good to meet you. Thank you so much. Um, an honor to have to be here today. It's an honor to have you. I'm looking at all of this and am having a hard time keeping my hands out of the curry. What are yep. we making today? We are making bubble egg waffles or bubble waffles with taro flavor. Um, I went to Hong Kong right before we opened the restaurant and um, bubble waffles was all over um, the street of Hong Kong and when we were uh, putting our brunch menu together, we, you know, I, I can resist but put it on the menu. Yeah, absolutely. So. That's so cool. Well, let's get started. What should we do? So, um, we have um, all of our ingredients here. I'm going to start with my uh, dry ingredient first. Here I have two cups of um, all purpose flour. And you can Wait, use. Wait, now it's what? All purpose. All purpose, flour. okay. Yeah, AP flour. And um, you can use cake flour instead. And then here I have three quarter cups of tapioca starch. And one tablespoon of baking powder. Terrific. One teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to sift this. And sifting it is going to blend it sufficiently. Correct. And Good way to do it. Because we're trying to right. You've given us the recipe. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. people can try this at home. Yeah. So if you watch carefully to the steps. Um, and, and the bubble waffle, in order to make the bubble waffle, you have to start with having a, a bubble waffle maker. Mm -hmm. um, and this is something you can buy easily on Amazon. Um, um, you can Google this. Um, it's, they're not very expensive. You can get a homemade one for roughly about twenty or thirty dollars. Wow. Um, and it's it's such a fun project to work with your kids. Um, I, I went on the trip. I came back, and you know, we started putting it together. I have two boys at home, and so they you must know, think this is so cool. I don't know if we can get a quick shot of the bubble waffles here, but that's what it looks like instead of the little crisscross squares. You get the bubbles plus you get the beautiful color. Okay, yes. sorry. No, Go no ahead. worries. And then I'm going to start with my um, wet ingredients. I have two eggs in here, um, half a cup of sugar, and you can adjust the sugar base on how um, you prefer it to be. Um, because we're serving it with um, chicken, uh, um, savory chicken, so I do less sugar instead of more sugar if you're preferring um, a sweet version of it. This is two teaspoons of um, taro extract or ube extract. Um, you can add that in. That's where the color comes from. That's where it's the so color comes from. And then I have three quarter cups of milk. Do you use just regular milk? Regular milk. Um, you can you can use um, any type of milk. Um, it's up to you, um, really, um, based on your diet. And then I have a, a about um, sixteen ounce of coconut cream here. Mm. That's and like already, an art project. It's so pretty. <laughs> you can see the color coming out. Now, I've done this before where I add the dry ingredient slowly into the wet ingredient and then I end up just with flowers all over my face, all over my apron. <laughs> so this way so is better. This way is better. So sifting it helps with the clumps. Um, however, um, do you need help? Do you want me to sure. pour? Great. There we and go. And then we also have oil on the stove ready too. Um, if you would like to help me with the chicken as well. Definitely will. Am I going too fast? No, you're good. Thank you so much. So, in doing this gently, does what to the batter? It helps um, the batter to not clump up, um, and then it, it makes a really smooth uh, textures when you're cooking the batter in the bubble. Uh, the bubble I love maker. this color. I mean, I think you, when you I, mentioned the kids, I think they would just, I would have loved this. Sometime. I have a little girl that comes in, she's five years old, and she comes into the restaurant and she told her mom, she said, this is my favorite restaurant right now because they serve <laughs> unicorn waffles. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so I'm dredging and frying chicken, correct? Right. The chicken, um, we use chicken thigh meat in this um, um, recipe. Uh, we married, we um, typically like to marinate our chicken about 12 hours so that mm -hmm. it really get the marinade in there and then um, and then the oil at 350 I'm gonna just adjust this quickly do you so need a little hotter in. nope it's right there pop it in okay what else is in the bowl over here that I'm not frying so um, in the marinade you mean yes in the marinade we have uh, soy we have sake we have honey we have uh, ginger, we have um, onions and um, uh, scallion, and then we soak it for, well, we marinate it for about 12 hours. And just to save time, we bought it already marinated. 
You've got um, some amazing spices over here, the star anise and cloves oh. and different things that are, can I put the little pieces in there? Is that okay or will they just burn? Um, if you coat it with a little flour, it will help a little bit and it'll make the room smells really, really good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I imagine that it will. You've brought, as we're making this, I just want to point out that you've brought some other beautiful dishes. Um, tell us, let's start here. So, um, what you pointed is the um, taro and shrimp um, crispy rolls that we have at the restaurant. We have, um, so this taro and crispy rolls are a traditionally made crispy roll using tapioca sheets, and in fact, they're gluten-free. Mm -hmm. um, normally, egg rolls are not gluten-free uh, due to the, um, the um, skin of the egg rolls, but um, we, um, I wanted to take it back to childhood, um, watching my aunt, watching my grandma making all of this. And, you know, in Vietnam, we don't have access to um, egg roll wrapper that's already done. And so um, everything is done with the tapio tapioca sheet, which is available to us. Um, it's a little bit more um, complicated to make, but um, the texture that you get biting into it, uh, it's worth every minute of the labor. It looks beautiful. There's some curry. We have curry. Um, we have rabbit curry here. Um, rabbit is something that is um, growing up, you know, my, my uncle had a farm of rabbits, and so it's something that we used to eat all the time. So really, you know, when we put the menu together for the restaurant, it's just recreating all the dishes that uh, we grew up eating um, from our uncles, our aunt, our grandma, our mom, you know, and just recreating those, you know, childhood memories with um, the Pacific Northwest ingredients. That's so great. Yeah. And then, one final? And uh, that one is our uh, duck salad. Um, so, um, our traditional duck salad is made with uh, cabbage, um, but arugula is still available in the Pacific Northwest, um, and um, so we instead sub it out with um, arugula instead, and the arugula um, has a bitter mm -hmm. touch to it that balances it really well with our um, ginger um, uh, vinaigrette, and then instead of using um, all pieces of, or all, the whole duck, we just use the duck breast, which is the best part of that of looks the duck. beautiful yeah. mm -hmm. all right are we ready to make some waffles all right are you ready yeah <laughs> so. all right so these are the the bubble um pockets that mm -hmm. makes the bubble uh that waffles so interesting um i have some batter already um ready but i might need a little bit more what can i hand you a little gonna, more batter yeah just a little bit more batter oh am i okay with my chicken over here mm -hmm. so make sure i don't burn anything I think we're pretty good. Nope, it's still cooking. Still cooking. All right. Mm -hmm. So, we got time. We got the last thing I'm going to do is ruin your chicken here. No, you're good. All right. So, you put about a cup or so into so, um, the bubble waffle maker? This one looks like a really fine one. Uh, yeah, this is our commercial uh, bubble waffle that we make at, um, at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. It takes about three, uh, three and a half minutes to finish one, uh, depending on how hot you have it at. All right. And um, I measure about six ounces of batter. You just want to make sure you get it um, in all of the pockets. And once you get it right, it should, um, the shape of it looks like um, a honeycomb. And it just fills out. And you just kind of tipped it. Cut it. All right. Now bear with me if it oozes out a little it's bit. It's okay. Oh, and we turn it over. So we turn it over to get all of the um, pockets to fill on the other side for about 30 seconds. That is beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. This is the final dish. What it looks like is lovely. The chicken and the waffle and all the other things that come from your, your background and your family. We appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Head over to New Day's website where you can find the recipe for Basas Terra Bubble Egg Waffle. And we'll also let you know where they are so you can go find them and enjoy the restaurant yourself. Thank you. Up next, the major takeaways from the recent local election and what to make of the Card Tab Initiative back after a break.